Alrighty guys, got another quick video walkthrough for you. Today we're checking out a 2006 Monaco La Palma 34 PBD. Now this is a diesel pusher, about 35 feet overall. It is a mechanical system, so you got leaf springs and mechanical brakes. No air ride, no air brakes, which isn't super uncommon in this year range and then size range, but something to point out. So let's start on the exterior here. Truck's annoying. So it is not full body paint, it is a decal coach. The decals on the darker ones are starting to crack. Not too bad, but it is noticeable once you get up on it. You'll see a little bit of fading on some of the other ones. Now we literally just got this coach in yesterday. I haven't been able to fully clean it or shampoo the carpets, but I'll still give you a good look at what we got here. First compartment there with that nice heavy duty plastic. See a couple water lines running throughout. Next up, we got a pass-through storage. You can see that goes all the way across. The other one will open, but you got to slide there, so it's hard to keep it open at all times. You can see similar concept to that one in terms of how you actually open it and keep it up. All right, another little storage compartment there. Nothing too crazy. You can see you can get to some water lines and a water heater. You can see the back of the fridge, back of the furnace. Electric awning comes out with a push of a button. Awning looks good, no rips, no tears. Does have a metal cover too, which is nice. 22 five inch tires. These tires are made the 42nd week of 2013. So they're coming up on seven years old. Here's your battery compartment bin. And then finally over here on the passenger side, we got one more bigger compartment and a little bit of wiring in here. Alrighty, in the back. See, you got a backup camera. This coach does have side cameras too. Your hitch, being this size, 4,000 pound towing. You do have a ladder extension to get up there. You can see your engine oil, transmission oil, a couple fluid checks. This does just pull off. You need to remove it to get to the radiator. Then you're cooling right there. The driver's side of the coach where both the slides are. Now this coach has a 300 Cummins in it with the Allison 1000 series transmission with the push button shifter. Oh, I forgot to open. There's a small compartment there. I forgot to unlock it before the video. See your 50 amp power service. Another little radiator right here it looks like. And decals on this side, actually a little bit better condition. The blacks are not cracking as much. Like I said, need a cleaning. You'll see some fading going on on the blue. A little bit on the red. Black is a little bit better on this side though. All right, your dump station. Gray, black, winterization, outdoor shower. You can see the other side of that pass through there. Like I said, a little dirty. Haven't cleaned it up fully, but. Gener or generator my gosh propane tank 20.3 hours you do have some surface rust on that in the exterior step a couple areas where you see that windshield wipe fluid and a whole lot of electronics and like i said side cameras you do you could get a bra for it if you want put that on and then your generator area 731 hours on it Hard to see, it's a 5500. And that's pretty much the exterior. Nothing too crazy, it's pretty quick because it's only about a 35 foot coach. Let's step on in. A couple steps in, and then right to the right, you got your battery disconnects, porch light, awning control, all that good stuff. And then getting inside here, here's your first initial look. You can see you got one slide right there and then an additional in the back for the closet, but we will get there. Auto leveling jacks, electronic. You do have an exhaust brake. There's your push button, transmission, cruise control, battery boost, standard stuff. Miles here, 57216.9. See your backup camera. And then that will show you kind of, oh, it's really hard to see on this. Hard to see on the phone it looks like, but you can see your side cameras there too, which is nice. And that is a, a door, that's why you can't see anything. It's open. 
All right. And then gen start step cover right there. A couple little drawers. Now up front, see your TV there was upgraded from the original tube TV. Some of the, some of the electronics, Blu-ray player. Some more stuff up there I can't see because I'm too short. Driver's seat is electric. Was an upgrade for this coach. Passenger is manual. Seats for being 14 years old, you start seeing some stress cracks. But really, they're not bad. I mean, they need a good clean to get all this kind of dirt and grime off. But overall, surprisingly not bad. A little bit of those same stress cracks on the corner there. Yeah, and then you got a curtain that will wrap all the way around, which is kind of cool. Meet with that one in the middle. Your first slide, that corner, right down past the kitchen right there. Couch is a pullout, and it's a three cushion. And you got these two storage bins above. They are connected. You can see some, not service records, but all your kind of manuals in this coach. You got your three burner gas stove top right here. And then your little 19 inch oven down below with your pots and pans storage below that. And you do have Corian covers for the stove top, a little pop-up leaf right here. And then I don't think the covers for the sink are gone. They probably didn't like them and took them out. Storage above the sink, the microwave, and of course your hood. And then finally, over here, you do have one little drawer there under the leaf. Now this, it's gonna be kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can put in some light. But I printed out kind of the spec sheet on this. You could try to pause it and zoom in. I highlighted some of the keyer features. But if you really want to, you can try to pause, try to zoom in. Oh my gosh, I can't keep a steady hand, jeez. All right, and then on the other side, we're gonna start just right up here. Dinette, two chairs. You can't extend that. There is two additional chairs under the bed. We will look at big old window right there. It does have the daytime and nighttime shades. You can see your nighttime or your daytime there. Now these are tough. I, I'm not a big fan of the accordion style because of this exact reason right here. It happens quite often. Uh, and they are kind of hard to clean. You'll see some stains in the actual blinds. To the right of that, you have like a little random kind of pantry slash coffee maker area oh that's a nice deep drawer though so it says one upgrade on this coach two ac systems so it should be uh 2135 btu units your standard two-door fridge this is an eight cubic foot fridge got that ice maker which also was an upgrade super sketchy my gosh and you do have a little pull out pantry here and then three drawers below it. And then above that, can't see for people under 5'10", but you got some more storage. Got a little pocket door there that'll separate the, ga the uh, galley from the bathroom. And then to the right right here, you got your control panel. Slides, heats, generator, one of your thermostats. And then of course your bathroom. Good look at this. Alrighty guys, sorry about the random break there. Had some customers show up. But we were in the bathroom here, plastic sink. You got three drawers here, all the same depth and size. A little bit of storage below. The medicine cabinet right above. If you wanna pause for any of those weights. Your shower. One piece fiberglass shower with the little seat. Don't worry about all the sweat on my face. It's hot in Arizona. Oh my God, you could be 6'2", 6 6'3", 6 6 and still fit in here just fine. And then to the right, we got the bathroom. Turn that light on. There we go. So literally just a toilet in here. You do have a fan up top, which is nice. Kind of crucial. And a little bit of storage above, too. Plastic toilet. Finally, our bedroom. Queen bed. And then the other slide out is right here for the closet. I gotta fix this little lock on this guy. It just broke, that's why it's opening. But you see your big wardrobe right here. 
all connected. So it's all just one storage area, good for shirts, pants, things like that. Probably not dresses, because they will hang a little bit. And you got these four drawers, all the same depth, all the same size, very cool. A couple drawers over here, right side of the, uh, right side of the bed. Little power and side table if you got a CPAP machine. A little bit more storage up front. TV up, also upgraded there. There's your tall wardrobe for the sundresses. And then below, a little tight, a little hard to access, but you got a nice big drawer there. And then finally, another wardrobe. Oh, and a nice coaxial cable for the TV. Over on the left, same concept. You do have one more additional kind of coat storage right there. Two drawers down below, another side table, and then these three, or I guess two that are connected. That last one's a breaker box right there. Final thing I want to show you, storage under the bed. So a good amount of storage. You can see those two seats there. There you go. It's our 2006 Monaco La Palma 34 PBD. This is here at Padata RV Center. We just got it in yesterday. Beautiful little short diesel pusher. Mechanical system though, no air ride, no air brakes. We're selling this bad boy for $44,995. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead, wash your hands. Comment down below with any questions. If you're looking to reach out and ask any questions on this, ask for Taylor Quayle here at Padata. Our phone number is 520-807-0900. Thank you. Have a great day.